Yo, Armando Baker out here. It's Luke May. This is Tyler Hintz, bro. University of North Carolina. This is North Carolina. I just want to shout out my boy, J Bear underscore YT. J Bear underscore YT. This Carolina family, baby. Go Heels. Go Heels. What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing the top 25 rankings yet again. It's week seven. Carolina looked absolutely atrocious. So, yes, they are out of the rankings. And, yes, I put Villanova out of the rankings as well. Four losses, I mean, they just don't have it like a true big man. I don't see it with them right now. It turns just not looking great. And Arkansas also moving out of the rankings and UConn as well. On to the top 25, we have Providence at number 25. They knocked UConn out of the rankings with uh, their four-point victory over them yesterday. And they also beat a, a, a Vermont team that I think is pretty good. And uh, they also beat Texas Tech. So pretty good start for Providence. At number 24, we have Wake Forest. Wake Forest, oh man, it's a weird team. It really is. But it's a talented team, and it's a pretty darn good team at this point. Uh, did I expect this from Wake Forest? No, they're currently sitting atop the ACC right now um, at 11-1. and one. The one loss being to a good LSU team. Yes, they have not beat much competition at all. And yes, they struggled to beat VMI, and they struggled to get Charlotte. I don't think they're a top 25 team. But right now, with their record and how everything else is shaping out, I have to give them that right now. Even though I don't think they're a top 25 team. Although they got some good players like Alonis Williams and Jacob Arabia. Anyways, number 23, we have the Colorado State Rams. Another team didn't expect to see up here in the top 25. I think they're 23rd in the rankings for... What's it? The AP, uh, they beat a good Mississippi State team, so they pr they've proven they deserve to be in these rankings. Number 22, we have Xavier. Xavier currently sitting at one loss as well. They're number 22 in the AP rankings as of this recording. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Their one loss being to uh, Iowa State team that is really good this year, apparently. And they do have a win against uh, Ohio State as well. So pretty good team, Xavier. Out of the Big East. Number 21, we have Indiana. And honestly, I think as a whole team, Xavier might actually be better than Indiana. But since I already had them ranked, I, I wasn't going to just pass them up like that easily. Um, Trace Jackson Davis is obviously really good. And they're in a tough conference. So I don't expect them to stay in the top 25 for much longer. But right now, they're playing like that caliber of a team. West Virginia is who I have at number 20. They're currently at one loss as well. They have a big win over Connecticut, and their only one loss in the season comes against a, a fairly okay Marquette team. Should have won that game but at home, but you know. Number 19, we have Michigan State, who could end up flying up these rankings. Michigan State is looking dang good since their loss to um, Kansas and, um, goodness, who was it? Kansas and Baylor. Besides that, they've looked like a really good team who could um, potentially be fighting for like a Sweet 16 or something this year. So they're number 19 in this week's rankings. Number 18, Seton Hall. I mean, how about the Big East right now? They're playing like one of the top conferences in the sport, definitely over the ACC. It's kind of going back to like the, goodness, pre-2000s Big East teams. So they're looking good. Got a big win against Texas. And a Rutgers team that beat Purdue. So, and, but anything can happen in college football, college basketball, as we all know. Number seventeen, we have the Ohio State Buckeyes. Obviously, they knocked off previously number one Duke um, to give them their one loss of the season. But Ohio State currently on a four-game win streak, and they're looking really good right now. Number sixteen, we have undefeated LSU Tigers. Again, didn't really expect this, but they got a good team. They got a, uh, I like Efton Reed there at center. I think he, he was a kid that Carolina was trying to recruit to get to come to uh, Chapel Hill. But yeah, LSU looking really good as well. Number 15, we have one of three Carolina's losses. We have the Tennessee Volunteers. They're currently on a two game winning streak there, eight and two on the season. Got a tough test against Arizona coming up this week but in their last uh, couple games since the Texas Tech lost a couple weeks ago I mean they've been dominant they've had a, 
like two consecutive 40 point victories over uh, yes lesser opponents but Tennessee, they're a really up and down team this year. Either they're hot or they're just not playing very well at all. <clears throat> Speaking of surprising, number 14, Iowa State. This team was picked dead last. Dead last in the Big 12. And here they are at number 14. So they are performing just out of their minds right now at 11-0. Number 13, we have the Houston um, Cougars. Uh, they do have two losses, but I still think this is a really, really good team. Gave Alabama their best shot. Um, beat an okay Oklahoma State team this past week. So I like this Houston team a good bit. Number 12, we have Texas. And I do kind of feel like Texas should be slightly lower. They're 7-2. and two, Probably going to be 8-2 and two. right now. They're up by about 20 against Stanford. So that I expect that score to hold out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this anyways. So yeah, number 12 is Texas. And number 11 is the Kentucky Wildcat. Boy, oh boy. Like, keep in mind, like, I wasn't as harsh on Kentucky as the AP was. They had them down at, like, 21. I had them at, like, 13 last week, so I moved them up two spots. But Kentucky looked really good against Carolina. And, yes, I'll admit, Carolina was horrible. They were bad. They could not hit a shot to save their life. Kentucky is maybe the best rebounding team in college basketball. I mean, that's what it looked like out there. And Carolina was letting um, a lot of the guards like Severe we uh, Severe Wheeler get just wide open layups every time down the court. But you can still see the talent and how good this Kentucky team can be, even though they did lose to Notre Dame. But yeah, Kentucky, like when they're at their best, they're a tough team to deal with. Number 10, we have Alabama. Alabama um, did lose a game in this past uh, week. They lost to uh, Memphis team that has been disappointing with their four losses. I believe they had on the season, but they did. They bounced back fairly well, um, but they had, like, honestly, the past couple of weeks, they haven't looked their best, but I still think it's a really good uh, potential team. Number nine, we have undefeated USC. They're looking really good as well. They're at 12 and 0 on the season. Number eight, Arizona. I mean, goodness, I did not expect this either. 11 on the season. Now, like, I've seen a little bit of Arizona, and they actually do look legit. I have to say, Arizona looks like a dang good uh, basketball team. And they got some tough tests coming up. They have Tennessee, that followed by UCLA, and then USC. If they can come out of that stretch undefeated, I'm going to put this team in like top three in the nation. This is a really good basketball team right here, I think. Number seven, we have the Auburn Tigers. We still only got the one loss in the season. Uh, Coach Bruce Pearl did get suspended for a couple of games, so that's be interesting to see how that will turn out. But they are currently on a seven-game win streak. Number six, we have the Gonzaga Bulldogs. They are um, a two-loss team so far, so not as great as expected, but they did uh, beat Texas Tech, who was previously ranked pretty handily, so they will be here at six this week. Number five, I have Duke. I I felt like moving Duke up a little bit. I really did, but man, I just don't know. The ACC is so horrible. Like, Duke is, is good. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't no, just watching them play, I'm like, is this a team that I truly think is better than the teams above them? I can't say that I do. Like, their shooting at times is inconsistent, and it it's just a, it's a weird thing. Like, it's, it's not just my Carolina bias. Trust me, it's not. But they're still a top five team in the nation in my eyes, so we'll leave them there. Number four, we have Purdue with only their one loss in the season. Uh, they responded pretty well since they had uh, two kind of rough ones against Rutgers and NC State. Uh, they looked good against Butler. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely a top five team in the nation. Number three, we have Kansas, my preseason pick to win it all this year. Kansas, Kansas, I feel like Kansas is kind of getting disrespected by the AP. I feel like they got punished a little bit too much for that Dayton loss. And since then, they, since then they've looked uh, pretty darn good. Um, with some dominant wins. So they're at number three for me. And number two, we have UCLA. I haven't been able to play lately because of their um, uh, COVID issues. 
but I, they're obviously a very talented team. And uh, yeah, and of course, number one, we all know it, the Baylor Bears. Goodness, this Baylor Bears team is really, really good. Like down the stretch, they kind of started to collapse against Oregon just a little bit. But they did it able. They were able to pull it out against a uh, top twenty-five preseason team in Oregon, and Baylor's still undefeated, so they're looking really good this year. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below about this week's rankings. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.